finally, after a long week break, I am back with the channel. I have not gone away. I was just lazy. Yeah, we, we, we can call it lazy. There were no chapters last week or this week's beginning for that matter. There were no chapters of the corresponding week. That meaning there was no One Piece last week and there was no The Seven Deadly Sins, nor The Promised Neverland, nor any other manga that was due to release this week. Let us not forget, last week's One Piece chapter was supposed to be this week's One Piece chapter, and this week's One Piece chapter is supposed to be next week's One Piece chapter. Or at least that's how I understand the whole shenanigans. Now, what matters is, we are back. And with nothing else than this week's chapter, or next week's, or whatever week's it is, the new chapter of One Piece, 875 A Woman's Honor. And I'm already laughing with this cover. Bartolomeo decided to burn Shank's flag. Yonko, who cares about him? What has this man done? What has this fool done? Well, you remember, you remember the theory I was working on for Bartolomeo? I got a new one. Bartolomeo will appear dead. <laughs> like, unless of course, if Shanks ever gets to him because of this. Maybe if he finds out that that's for Luffy, that he's doing this, maybe it'll go easy on him. Like, maybe, just maybe it'll go easy on him. How awesome would it be that this is the island we last saw Shanks in, in that wedding? We saw Shanks in like the the last cover arc story before this one when they were visiting some important people throughout the world the last few covers were I believe for Shanks crew members it was after the Dressrosa arc I believe we visited some we visited some people from the from the past and we saw one cover was yes soap and some others reacting to to the bounties, I believe, and to the news, and then the next one was Shanks in front of a church, and possibly at a wedding, we, we presumed, I believe it was said at the time, how fun would it be that this was the town they were at, and that Bartolomeo was going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Shanks here, like meeting him face to face. Bartolomeo is not going to <laughs> unless of course ah but that's that's a topic for another time that's a topic for the theory we shall move on with this chapter which after a week's break I'm very very eager to see oh really now they are German they are turning every every group into into German soldiers ever since that that straw hat Germa cover now it's the Yonkos in the fan art. I gotta say, a very cool fan art indeed. Whoever's, whoever draws these, like people who draw are generally just. I wish I had half the ability for that. I couldn't even draw Zeus for Christ's sake. Not even, not even Kaido's mace, let alone Zeus. Anyway, here we are. Okay, Sweet City Juice River. The river filled up with cream too, things aren't looking good. I can't believe we managed to get this thing going. This is so sweet, I love it, okay. It's so sticky, gross and look, it's making our rudder all slippery. Get out of the way, Mr. Sea Monster. Oh! Okay, so Chopper saw some um, saw a mermaid. He probably saw Praline. Look over there. Whatever will be there soon to the sunny. What's he doing? Fishing. <laughs> <laughs> ok. 
Okay. He probably saw Praline and and mistook it for a mermaid. Well, no, no, there's no way a mermaid would be there. Like we see no mer we saw no mermaids on on the sun on the Sun Pirates crew. Yeah, he probably saw Praline and mistook it for a mermaid. Okay. So Jinbei is explaining Big Mum's tantrums to Luffy. She rages with no regard for what or who is around her. E poor Baum. I mean, I don't really feel sorry for him, but anyway, it's it's, it's kind of sad. She barely she's barely even aware of what she's doing. Looks like her order this time around is a wedding cake. Which means the fact that she didn't get to eat the cake at the ceremony is probably what set this off. <laughs> Luffy, dang it, why do you have to destroy the thing? But that cake was really good, even Luffy ate some cake. <laughs> you actually ate some during all that. <laughs> oh, these guys. We shouldn't be too far from the ship, but that's the thing that this forest can tell if you're going in a straight line or not. Okay. Oh, the river they... The river they passed before. Just the, the anime just barely left this part and, and the manga is already ending the, the whole gate saga, Jesus. I mean, it's a good thing that they that they have a distance between them, but Jesus, to think, to think that they, the the way that things have evolved in this. Lola's well, Vivre Card doesn't appear to be working anymore. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Mom is just, Mom is just around, so I, you can't expect to match a piece of paper to the real thing. I mean, just make sure you don't stop feeding him the bait. If Zeus goes back to Mama, we'll definitely never be able to outrun her. <coughs> and Zeus is just keeps Get back here, Zeus! How dare you disobey Mama's orders? Zeus, look here, your favorite water eggs. They are filled with juicy thunderheads. Boy, you sun guy, how dare you burn these trees? Seriously, Luffy, you're gonna try to attack? <laughs> A burning flame. <sighs> Even the social crew doesn't work on him. He's not even a Logia type. It's just... Get over that bridge quickly, everyone. Oh. Spear wave passing shower. It work, of course it work, is just animated concentrated flame. Think of him as a, as a, just a talking wildfire. Yeah, we, we saw his creation back before when it was still Pandora. I mean, I assume that Prometheus is Pandora. So, I think it is, because if we look back here, it, it, it's similar, uh, and I don't think where else... Mama could have got. I mean, she saw. Uh, she saw caramel with with Pandora. So even if Prometheus is not Pandora, she could theoretically create a similar being from her soul. So okay. So Pedro is fending off some soldiers. As well as carrot, they're just okay. They're just fighting against okay. Wait, Pedro, Luffy, stop carrot. We can't get separated from each other, we'll never be able to find each other again. Focus on defense and run. That's true. And <laughs> Jimmy just goes and grabs Pedro by the neck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
so Zeus is he's transforming Nami the only time to deal it out they're right behind us you bastard just don't know when to give up my wetter eggs are all now inside Zeus. Sandy, everyone run, run as fast as you can, don't look back. Zeus, raise tempo. <gasps> Holy heck. She sent Zeus flying down right atop Big Mom's head. Oh, this is good. Holy heck. <laughs> Looks like Mama used Zeus to finish them off. Or it was it the other way around, Parasupera, my boy. <laughs> Jesus. Nami was able to hit Big Mom. Brooke was able to fight toe-on-toe -toe with her, at, at least slightly, he was able to damage Prometheus. Nami was able to use Zeus to hit Big Mom. Like, the only thing we really need now is for Luffy to take care of the real deal. Because we all know that Luffy's the only one who can really do something to Big Mom. Like, even if Brook can do something about Prometheus and Jinbei now, uh, and Nami can is able to do something with Prometheus and to Prometheus, uh, more more wit than uh, it's more of a question of wit rather than uh, to, because she she didn't really damage Prometheus, she rather used him to their advantage. So yeah, I. I don't know. I I'm still debating whether or not I want Big Mom to be defeated in this saga. And also, look at this transition from Big Mom's hair to the waves at sea. Like amazing. Jesus. Okay, so back to the sunny Panosparo, Katak Katakuri and Brook. Brook and Chopper just arrived. <laughs> <coughs> Looks like your friends are dead. Now then, what will you do? Even if you put your lives on the line and somehow manage to win this ship back from us, none of the people that once rode it with you are coming back. If you're content to live on that little submarine of yours, we'll, j we'll, we'll let just the two of you go free. <laughs> Here they go. <laughs> I love the little nods. They're like, <laughs> I refuse. Get out of there. That's our son you're standing on. <laughs> oh, here we go. Zeus is going crazy. I hope they're okay. I'm so sorry she found this is just a harebrained request. It's okay. It's been a while since we've baked together. Besides, Badgie, I told you, didn't I? These are the people that saved Lola's life. But Chief and dear, it's dangerous, I'm worried. It's easy to just say thank you for saving Lola with words, but when those you're in debt to are in trouble, that's when the real truth of, of that thanks is tested. Yes, but live with honor, that's what they always say, right, darling? If anything should happen to me, take care of pets. Oh, come on, no, no. Chiffon, look there, were you even listening? Sanji is... Oh... That fool's right there. Oh, Jesus. She's having a split personality issue. Oh, no, please, no. Don't do this. There's no need. There's absolutely no need to draw this saga longer than it needs to be. Just have them make the bloody cake and be done with it. Also, where will they bake a cake? Like in the middle of the of the of the seducing woods. Unless they plan to use the sunny's kitchen 
to because I don't see that they're carrying a cake here unless they are and I just missed it but they don't seem to be carrying one so unless they are thinking about using the the kitchen on the sunny then I don't think I'll uh, I don't think I'll see where they they plan on cooking unless of course she has a devil fruit that allows her to turn into <laughs> into kitchen utensils but hey I I I, I putting you god forsaken woman why why a personality issue now we have no need for this but why 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 is she still just hell bent on of course the, this can just this can just this can be just a fluke like she's still a little bit bonkers in the mind but please let it be just a fluke because there's no need to draw out this saga any longer I mean we are getting closer and closer to the last few months of the year there's like apart from this there's like three more four more months in the year that's September October November and December and we can never forget that December is always a bad month for chapters so I don't think one Okun is going to start this year unless unless the reverie is like really small which I was hoping it wasn't I wished for the reverie to last for at least 15 to 20 chapters okay 10 to 15 let's put it like that 10 to 15 and that's already stretching it to make it to one of this year so unless they had a change of plans we will not be seeing one of this year or we will but the reverie will be like five chapters at most for us to reach the reverie this year because let us assume that whole cake island ends on hadron on the on chapter 880 that would make five more weeks so that would make the whole cake saga to end midway through september we would have a break as always there's at least a break every month so we would have a break so that would mean that somewhere along October the reverie would begin and end like at most to start one of this year the reverie must either begin and end in October or begin in October and in November so we could have at least three chapters of Wano in November and one or two in December but I, I, I don't think they're going to do that. The Reverie is an already enormous saga in terms of importance to the world. The Reverie has been, has been teased from like God knows when. Like we've heard of the Reverie all the way back in Alabasta. Or was it Drum Island? No, we've heard about it in Alabasta when Vivi was remind no we heard about it yes in drum when Vivi was reminding herself of when she met uh, Wapple in the reverie so all the way from there we've been hearing about this world meeting called the reverie and we heard at that time I believe that the next reverie would be in two years time so the Reverie arc, and with all the things that have been happening, the Reverie arc is, for me at least, one of the most anticipated sagas of all. Like, the potential, the potential in terms of plot that's going to get out of the Reverie is tremendous. So, 
I really hope they give it the due the due respect and the due making in story that um, a saga of such importance and that has been teased for years and years to come that they really make something out of it and just not something to be scuffled in five chapters and then maybe being revisited later in flashbacks that would make no sense I think that everything that is to come out of the reverie should come in the reverie arc its repercussions however would only be known through the current story because let's not forget if the reverie happens Luffy and the others will not hear anything of, of that what can happen is that they know of some of it through the newspapers what is revealed to the world but the more shady stuff that happens in the reverie because I think that a lot of shady stuff will happen in this year's reverie they don't know of it and only later through the natural course of the history will they know about it in more detail but I think that the big game decisions we the readers should be able to know them in the spot like they are taken in the reverie we should see them at the reverie and then what those decisions entail would be something for us to discover as Luffy and the others discover it so because if we're going with this okay so we imagine that they do the reverie in five chapters and they leave almost everything from it out then the next sagas will have flashbacks going back to the reverie oh you know this oh this was decided it is in reverie don't worry just you know here here's what it was we'll we'll get to know that specific little thing this is the repercussion move on to the next thing and in the next saga we'll go like okay you you're getting the idea and so if we discover everything that the reverie has to almost everything that the reverie has to offer there won't be a need to follow every single little repercussion in the world maybe some of the major events only but at least we'll know almost everything that was on the river. I'm not saying that we should know every little neat big detail, no. But the big, big decisions of the world, like, will Cobra actually ask in the in the world meeting, in the reverie, about the pony lips? That's a pretty big deal. Like, a leader of one of the 20 countries that led war against, against the against the old um, against the forgotten kingdom the the one that that sparked the the whole thing i forgot their name what's the name given to them it's not for it's not forgotten kingdom it's the guys from the the lost the void century that assume that the the ones that created the public you, you know, not the, the the samurai clan, but the ones who ask the samurai clan to create the pony lips. I the the old kingdom, the old kingdom. That's it, the old kingdom. I'm I'm used to to call them by the, in in Portuguese and not actually in English, so I, I kind of forget that. But one of the the kings, one of the kings from the twenty kingdoms that waged war against the old kingdom back in the void century. Let us not forget that the Nefertaris, they did participate in the war, but they did not agree to go to Mary Joa. So they are the two. They are one of the two known families that we know have no seat in Tenryubito land. That being the Nefertari and the Don Quixotes, who who forfeited thanks to Don Flamingo's father. But one of the one of them to bring the very same question they tried to hide from the world that will mean something but anyway among other things of course but this is not a video about the reverie there may be a video about the reverie but i want to wait until whole cake island saga ends and god please make it end <laughs> This is this last part is becoming a little bit like Dressrosa. This chapter really didn't feel anything at all. Uh, it showed us some cool moments, like Nami possibly injuring Big Mom. That's a pretty big deal. Uh, Brook and Chopper standing up 
to Perosipero, Katakuri, uh, and God knows who else is in that ship. I don't even remember half of the people who are in that ship. So, yeah, they, they'll have some help. I believe the Sun Pirates are hiding under the sea, ready to jump to help Brook and Chopper. Uh, so they won't, they won't fight alone. Of course they won't. Um, so yeah, but this chapter, in terms of progression, it didn't have a lot. They are still inside the seducing woods. Uh, they are, I believe we could say halfway through the, the seducing woods, if, if we look at it from a certain angle, it seems like they are halfway through the seducing woods. So, yeah, the, in terms of progression, this chapter didn't really had much. But hey, uh, we can't expect old chapters to be action-packed and actually moving forward the story. They need to be some chapters who are a little bit staler than the others, even though this has this has been going for a while and I hope this saga ends as soon as it will. But this is it for this week's chapter of One Piece. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I sure did. Please do let me know your opinions in the comment section below what you think will be Marshall and Mio's fate now that you officially burn the Yonko's flag. <laughs> I never thought he would do that. But hey, it's Bartholomew. We must and should wait anything from Bartholomew. What do you think? Has Nami been able to injured, if only by a smidge? Big Mom with Zeus. Will Chopter and Brook Chop Chopter? Chopter. Get to the Chopter? No. Will Chopper and Brook be able to stand their ground against Perospero Katakuri and who else? Let us remind Brook stand his ground against Big Mom for a good while, so him and Chopper may actually have a chance against two of her sons. So, this is it for this week. In terms of One Piece coming right up, we have this week's chapter of Boku no Hero Academy. Also, very quite excited, more curious than actually excited, but still I'm looking forward for that as well. I'll see you guys then coming right up and the light on this video is completely bonkers. I either have too much light or I have no light at all. Yeah, <laughs> it's what you get when you have a crappy setup. I'll see you guys in just a moment. Bye bye.